Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. As you know, back in March 2018, we purchased a new tow vehicle, the Sanyong Rexton ELX. We've had it now 17 months and I know a lot of people have asked how have we got on with it and how have we found it. To be fair, we've been very impressed and I'll go through a few bits with you. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. The Rexton ELX. The retail price when we bought it was £35,000. We got it in the automatic version and although it is available in seven seats, we got five. What we were impressed about was the amount of equipment for £35,000 and also because it's under 40, we weren't taxed in the higher bracket that some luxury SUVs are. This vehicle has a 2.2 litre diesel engine and delivers 180 brake horsepower. So how's that engine perform when towing? The Rexton on paper will tow three and a half tonnes. We tow our Adria Caravan, which weighs 1,750 kilograms. I'm quite sure it is capable of pulling three and a half tonnes. However, the 2.2 engine, I do feel sometimes it is lacking in power and it doesn't give you that quick pull off that you get from a larger petrol or diesel engine. That being said, it's never struggled yet. It is four-wheel drive and we have used four-wheel drive on it. We've even been driving on beaches with it. So the four-wheel drive system does work very well. In terms of the running costs, we found we get around 32 miles to the gallon generally. And when I tow, I get about 26 to the gallon. So it's not the most economical, but again, it's not the most uneconomical. So as vehicles go, it's fairly economical to run. We've now done just under 25,000 miles, so we do do a high mileage and we do do a lot of towing. We're currently on our European tour, as you may be able to see the sea behind us. We're in Sweden. By the time the tour finishes, we'll have done 3,000 miles around Europe. In all the time that we've had the Rexton, we've not had any faults with it. We've not had to take it back for anything other than its first service and it's now due its second one when we get back. So let's go further on to how it tows. What we'll do is we'll go around the back and we'll just fix the tow bar. If you're interested in seeing a proper full vlog about fitting a detachable tow bar, then we do have a link to that from our channel and we'll put that below. It's worth remembering that if you get a detachable tow bar on the Rexton, the nose weight on the, that tow bar will be around 125 kilos. A fixed tow bar will give you more nose weight. Why is that important? Well, ours is detachable and our nose weight on the Adria is 100 kilos. Most UK caravans will run at 100 or less, unless you're looking at something like an Eldis Buccaneer or one of the European manufacturers like Hymer, and then you will have a heavier nose weight. So, without further ado, let's go put the tow bar on and then we'll hitch up. When the detachable tow bar isn't fitted, as you can see, you wouldn't even know there was going to be one there. You fit the detachable tow bar under there, it clicks into place, and there we go. As you can see, it is suitable for an Alco hitch on the caravan, or a normal trailer if you're pulling livestock or cattle. It's important to remember if you have an Alco hitch that you do sand the ball to remove the black lacquer. So there we go, tow bar is fitted and all we need to do now is reverse back onto our caravan hitch. So the tow bar's on, it's time to hitch up and an excellent feature on the Rexton is the reversing camera. When you put it into reverse, the camera comes up and you can reverse back onto the hitch. This makes it easy if it's just you by yourself or equally if you're doing it with a friend or partner then you can still see what's going on behind. What I really like about the camera on the Rexton is if you can see here, you can see the tow ball, which does help. I have reversed with cars during our other reviews that don't allow you to see it. So it's a bit of a guessing game, whereas this, you can get it absolutely perfect every time. 
So I'm going to use it now to reverse back as we hitch up. So as you can see, the camera will allow us to follow round to where the hitch is. It does make it a great deal easier and whoever you're with doesn't have to keep shouting backwards and forwards. One thing I will mention that's important to know, if you're using a reversing camera to reverse, the height can be distorted. So make sure that the hitch is high enough to allow your tow ball to go under, otherwise this will go straight into there. And it's quite easily done, because I have done it. So as we go under, Now another thing I'll mention, you may be able to hear the parking sensors. There is an ability to turn this off through the electric wiring, but we haven't had that done. But it's worth noting you can do that. So there we go, that's how easy it is to reverse back with the reversing camera, whether you're by yourself or with somebody else. We're going to hitch up now and we're heading off to Denmark. We've got about a four hour tow today, we're going over the Orson Bridge. We'll land in Denmark where we've got a couple of days and then we make our way down to Germany. So I can say that towing really is a pleasure with the Rexton, thankfully, because we've done some miles. Once we get on the road, I'll talk to you more about towing and also the sat-nav and how we've got on with that. So come on, let's hitch up and head off. drive and tow incredibly well. The driving position is excellent, it's a very high vehicle. I'm only small but I can see out really well and we're higher than a lot of other vehicles on the road which certainly makes me feel safe. The automatic gearbox works very well, it's extremely smooth. Obviously the Rexton is four-wheel drive and when you've got it in two-wheel high, two-wheel drive high it drives on the rear wheels. Personally, I prefer the rear wheel drive to the front wheel on a vehicle, so it does suit me. The car itself has a curb weight of just over 2.2 tonnes, and it has a gross vehicle mass of just over 2.8 tonnes, so it is incredibly heavy. But what does that mean for when you're towing? It means that you're going to be able to tow quite happily most caravans and trailers that are out there. The fact that it is so heavy, you don't get that tail wagging the dog. I must say, I've never had a snake and I've never had a twitch with the Rexton. I've towed our Adria and I've also towed a couple of Baileys. And I've towed, a, towed an older caravan, but I don't remember what that was. And it's had no issues towing any of those. Our van is eight feet wide, it tows that very well. The wing mirrors are excellent, they're huge, they give a great view, but what we also use is the large Malenko mirrors. You must make sure, no matter how big your vehicle, that your field of vision is correct and that you use mirrors when needed. The Rexton also has two excellent safety features. 
The first one is the lane departure warning. When that's on, the vehicle will detect if you move out of the lane on a motorway or a road without prior indication. It senses that you've made a manoeuvre that you weren't intending to do and it sounds an alarm. That will alert you to the fact that you're no longer in the correct lane. It's a really good device, especially if you're towing a long distance, because sometimes people's concentration does waver. You see it quite regularly with HGVs. So it would alert you if you had meandered out of the lane you were meant to be in. Particularly important if you do have a larger eight foot caravan, because that's going to be further out than the vehicle is as well. The other feature is the collision avoidance system. If you're travelling at a slow speed and it senses an object in front of you, either a vehicle or a pedestrian, it will alert you and will actually take evasive action. It will put the brakes on and slow you down to avoid that collision. I have actually had that activate, not in a collision uh, situation, but when a vehicle in front of me was turning left last minute and I was close to it, it began to alert me and it did put the brakes on. So I can tell you it does actually work and it's also very useful for if you are driving around caravan sites where children are playing, hopefully it would prevent any tragic accident. So those systems, they do work and they are there to aid you. The Rexton is really well planted when it tows and I must say, I can't really fault it. The only thing it lacks is that additional power. You don't feel the caravan on the back, but at times when you just want a bit more grunt, it's just not there. However, that being said, it meets the Euro 6 emissions. So not only does it tow extremely well, it also has a fantastic sat-nav system. It works pretty well in the UK. It has occasionally thrown up the odd lane that you definitely wouldn't go down, but nine times out of ten, it does pick a good route. We have found that whilst travelling here in Europe, it's been absolutely fantastic. It has not let us down once. It's certainly not chosen any bizarre routes that you wouldn't want to go down with a caravan. So in terms of the sat-nav and the Apple CarPlay, they're both really good onboard devices that will certainly make travelling a lot easier. So that's it really. That's how we've got on with our Sangyong Rexton. I know a lot of people have asked us. And if I went back now to March last year and which car we would have chosen, I still don't think there's any other SUV out there that I would have picked over this. And that's because of the price, the reliability and the warranty. Because the Sangyongs now come with a seven year warranty, which is absolutely excellent. You can't really go wrong. So there we are, that is our Sangyong Rexton. Are we still pleased with it? Yeah, absolutely. And we definitely wouldn't change it. So if you are thinking of one, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.